waked and await. Rose rinse quest. Rint eskin res exquim. Guch jechem. Being proud of who you are and where you come from is so important to me. I believe in the saying, it takes a whole community to raise a child. We are living in a world of constant change. What has happened to our people in the past is now being shared on social media. Where people have a chance to learn and educate themselves on topics like the residential school, murdered and missing indigenous women, and treaty rights, just to name a few. My reserve, we are all about community. We treat each other like family, and that is all I've ever known. Growing up, I went to a school named after my great-great-grandmother, Eliza Archie. On Mondays, the whole school would gather and we would smudge ourselves off with sage. This is where I learned to use the medicine to, to connect myself with the creator. I would hold the smoke over my eyes, ears, and mouth, and I would ask to see good things, to hear good things, and to speak with kindness. My culture and traditions were passed down to my parents. Our elders taught us the Sukhwapm language in which we are lucky to speak today. My kia and ba lived off the land as much as they could. They taught us where to hunt, fish, trap, pick herbs and berries. When I travel home, I'm so blessed to have my parents, my aunties and uncles teach my little cousins what they've taught me. The sweat lodge was a huge part of growing up. My parents would take us to gather the rocks. We would pick the wood and the boughs. When we were done, we would leave an offering of tobacco. I learned about the four traditional rounds of the sweat lodge, the meaning of the medicine wheel, and our connection we have with the spirituality of the great grandmothers and grandfathers of the four directions. We would also go to Shushwap gatherings and powwows. The sounds of the regalias walking by, the songs, the beat of the drum, and every time there is a grand entry, I get emotional because it truly makes me feel proud to be Indigenous. The reality of my friends not seeing their 25th birthdays reminded me how fragile our lives are. Knowing the stereotypes and seen as a statistic is why decolonization is so important. Hearing the stories of our past make me sad and angry, but it also shows how resilient our people are. When I was going into grade eight, I was scared scared because of an experience I had when I was in grade four. This kid called me a dirty Indian. I didn't understand why. I was going to the sweat lodge a few times a week. How could I be dirty? <laughs> I tried a lot of sports growing up. In the 1990s, I fell in love with skateboarding. It wasn't a popular sport at the time, but I really loved the freedom it gave me. 
I love the feeling of learning and landing a new trick. I met other skaters in high school that gave me the confidence to keep progressing. In my teen years, my sister and I would hitchhike to skate parks that were one to two hours away. We never once thought this was dangerous. We didn't even know about the highway of tears. I remember one night my dad picked us up in the middle of nowhere. It was midnight. The look on his face was a mix between sadness and disappointment. My parents gave me a lot of freedom growing up as long as I would help out around the house. When me and my sister would put on punk shows, they never would stop us. They never would ask questions like where are the bands coming from, if we had liability insurance or permits. We knew we were just doing it so we could create a space for other teens like us to have fun. So I finished high school, I went on to college, and I found myself in Vancouver. My sister picked me up at the Greyhound station and all I had was my clothes and skateboard. When I was 12 years old, I said, I want to work in downtown Vancouver and I want to travel the world with my skateboard. Years later, I found myself working for an organization that's so huge into community. They encourage their staff to volunteer at community events. And this is where I came up to start an all-women skateboard contest called Stop, Drop, and Roll. The, the love and the, the love and support I got from the community was amazing. To share with other women around the world the same passion that I have is truly something I'll never forget. Last year, the skateboard community helped me more than they will ever know. In February 2019, I lost my sister. She was my inspiration. She always reminded me how important our culture is. One day, my friend invited me to a sweat lodge. And that is what I needed. When you lose someone so close to you, it hurts. I found myself going home to spend time with my family because I felt so lost in the city. I was looking for traditional and holistic ways to heal my broken heart. Something that inspired me a lot was hearing how much she did for her own community in Kamloops. She is one of the reasons why I started a not-for-profit called Nations. Our mission is to empower Indigenous youth to tell them how important their voices are, to give them that hope, and to remind them how important their culture and history is. If nations can help five to 10 to 20 years from now, for all of us to be speaking our language, we are in the right direction. I wanna share with you our first trip we did. None of us have never been to Fort St. John. It's in northern BC. 44 kids came. None of them skateboarded before. So it was really nice to teach them something new. The feedback we got from the school district and the counselors that were there said they seen a difference in the kids right away. That made me so happy. When I look back at my life, I want to know that I did the best I could 
when you find something you're passionate about, you give it your all. You put all the love into it. For me, decolonization is so important because these youth, they're our future leaders. We need to empower them as much as we can. So when you leave here tonight, I want you to ask yourself, what are you doing to create a healthy community? I would also like to thank Tira, Kiana for putting this on, and all the other beautiful women that have inspired me today. I thank everybody that's watching online and taking the time. I thank you so much for listening to my story. Thank you.